coming back. We gotta go down. What am I caught on? Uh, what is, oh. I got caught in a crack.
Come around over here to see if you can see my video. I can't see my Come around over here so you can see. Right between us. Okay. So you can see in your way where we're going. Okay. Let's uh, come down just another, another inch or so of the mold, maybe inch and a half. Let me see you can see in there. We're trying to line those two up. Yeah, that'd be all right. All right, let's shove it over a little more. Okay, that'd be, that'd be all right right there. Okay, you got a wheel locked? Um, I can't remember if you locked one or not. I didn't lock one, though. It, okay. We want them unlocked. Oh, we want them unlocked? Okay. Yeah. Step on it. Sorry, yeah. Okay. All right, so we want to be able to roll it just a little. Okay, let me go unlock the other side. Okay, we were going to push it to where it's up against it. Okay, looks like we need to come this way. I'm going to set the mo I'm going to set a lock here to hold this one in place. Let me come around. Let's see. We need to come this way a little. Yeah, looks like we need to go up a bit. Do we? Yeah. I can't tell. Okay, then pull it up. Up the other up. Up the other. Are we not far enough forward? Looks like it's pretty close to being able to pop in. Okay, yeah, I think we're right. We're right in there. Okay. Let me get a let me give you one of these. So the way it goes in. This slides in, in the groove, like that. Yeah. And it goes with this ankle towards the back. I'm going towards the the, uh, the second one down for everything. I don't, yeah, we're just not, we're almost there, but not quite. Let me come around that side. Let's see, did you set that wheel? Uh, that back one's locked. This one's locked. Yeah. Okay, push it forward a little bit that way. Is it looking? I think we're a little low. There we go. Okay, here we are. Yeah, as soon as we get these finger tight, we'll be all right because we're just we're just setting it in place for the moment. find our wrench we had. Uh, pipe wrench or
Okay. Now let's split one. Let me do a split one on this side. straddle that guy but not much we can do. We need to loosen this up now. But I don't want to make it all the way. So shove the uh, frame. Uh, we need to shove frame that way. Let me unlock the wheel over here. Because I need some room to be able to get in there. Yeah. Okay, all right, so we got the front of the mold locked in. We're pulled up there nice and tight. We got slack on our chain, the entire thing's hanging on. We still got our strap right here holding the two halves together. All right, now we need our injector. Injector. So this is a spring-loaded mold. Thank you, sir. We're going to put this in here. Put it in right there and just give it a little snug tightness. All right. There we go. Thank you, sir. Okay, we should be set on our mold for being, uh, being locked in. Why don't we go ahead and lower it down and take the chain off. Okay, so now let's take our A-frame back towards the back of the machine at this point. Here's our two pieces. This guy we'll be using in a few minutes. Right. I'm going to close the door so we can move. OK. 
Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and close this. Okay, so now motor on. Put it mold set up. Okay, we're gonna close nice and slow. We have it in mold set mode on the screen. All right, there are ejection rods coming in. We're gonna get it up here. Get it up nice and easy. We're just gonna get a little pressure on it, not much. It knows where it was before because it's the same mold that's in there. So we're just squeezing it up there. All right. So our mold height is currently 4.840. Right here, clamp position is zero inches. That means it's closed. All right, we're gonna put that back, turn the motor off. Okay, so we don't have, we don't have a huge amount of pressure on the mold, but um, we got enough to keep, it, uh, to keep it closed and together. We got this thing still on it here. So I'm going to tow this in towards the back of the mold here. Oh, what did I do the wrench? Oh. I got this back piece set pretty level. All right. I'll go ahead and do this top one. Okay, so we got that setting right there, not quite on top of our, our shaft. Put this in here. I do it without making it fall apart. Okay. That all feels good. That's all real good. Now the other side. Do the same thing to this side. We need to remove that eye bolt up in there. I don't know if this will set off the alarm or not. I can't remember. Oh, it did not. Good. See, this was on the bottom. We did the solid on the bottom. On that side. Do the same thing here. If you don't go around and remove that eye bolt, you can do that off the top, it just unscrews. It shouldn't be tight. It should just be finger tight. Where at? It's up on top. Oh. Okay. Okay, we should be good there. Uh, yes, yes, go ahead and close the door. Alright, 
now our strap. You know, we could, I guess, go ahead and hook up the water lines on the other side while we're, while we're here. When we do that, we'll connect those up real quick. All right, so the strap is off. We're, we're good here. Let's go around the other side. Let's plug in the water lines. Come over here, Danielle. Okay, our top two lines should be our long lines. They're going to go to the back of our mold. So, red is out because it's hot. Black is in. All right, so we're good there. And uh, I just ran them up here. And so you can see that. That's got a little piece of, piece of plastic strap here. Let's just hold our water lines up, keep them out of the way. We don't want them to be caught down here as that uh, entry slides back and forth. <laughs> That's, yeah, let's say, uh, we'll go here. Now that you're on video, your knot time scales are being questioned. Yeah. Boy, it sticks to itself good. All right. Oop, almost did a granny. All right. Don't look at that. <laughs> That's square knot. Yeah, right. Ah, it is. Okay. Okay, so here. We got our in and out. Out is uh, low here. And uh, that was number two. We'll just keep them together. Number two here to go in the top one. Front half mold has two cooling lines, the back half has one. This side doesn't move, so they don't need to be tied down and anything done with them. Okay, turn the back on, cool. Turn the front first one on, about half. Turn the second one on, about half. Make sure everybody else is off. We'll get a bath otherwise. Okay, so those are good. Now let's hook up our data line and piece that controls the hot runners. So our hot runner system has three zones in it. Oh. Oh. All right, that goes on there, that locks in there. All right, we are zoned in. be good there. There's our zone controller coming over the back. I don't know if you got a picture of that. It's a hot runner controller for three zones. We'll go around the other side now and let's uh, lock this guy in. Everything looks okay. We should be able to we'll still have to do a mold set the mold even though it's already the same mold.
need to do it all in one order. Okay, we're gonna open the mold now. We're in mold set position where we're looks good. The clamp position is at 20.7 inches. Okay, so we have on our screen here, if you can see, auto clamp adjustment is going on. If you look at the mold, you can see it's moving in. So what it's going to do, it's going to squeeze in here and figure out where it wants to be and what it needs to be. And it's going to adjust the tonnage. I have it set to 21 tons of closure. It's going to push it in and pull it back a time or two. Alright, so we have our clamp set up. Our mold height is set to 14.840. Um, our nozzle has not been push, pushed in yet, so we are going to go to mold set. We're going to go ahead and run our nozzle in. This is what we were doing all the work for, is we want to see how well our nozzle fits our mold. It was not centered. The nozzle was not. So we're going to go in here. All right, right there, nozzle touched. It flashed, flashed orange, and right there it says nozzle touched. Okay, so now we're going to go ahead and uh, let's set our mold our mold distance, so our position currently is at 23. We ran it at 15 inches before. So we're gonna say set everything to 15 inches. And uh, we're gonna say, uh, go back here to manual, we're gonna say open mold. There we went to 15 inches. Now we're gonna test our ejectors. So ejectors are set to 0.75 inches. When we watch that mold, there we are. Perfect. Okay, we are we are good. I'm gonna hit mold close. Right there, we are closed. Our ejectors are pulled back. Our nozzles pushed in. We are we are good. We're golden. So our mold is set. If our positions I have couple different speeds set in here so I got 15 inches 8 inches 1 inch 0 0.004 it's 60 60 60 20 that guy we could probably drop down to 40 oh so we set it as and this is percentage of power and so as it closes it's going to slow down so we should be able to see that when we hit open and then when I close you see it slowed down there at the at the last so last eight inches it slowed to 40 percent one inch at 20 percent and then at the very last it slowed to 10 percent okay that's uh that's our mold set we should be good and uh we can't tell in our nozzle in here until we actually shoot it we should be centered <laughs> 